Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at a couple of awesome and productivity add-ons that you probably missed. And these are quite impressive things that you guys definitely need to take a look at, especially if you like to speed up the way you work and if you're looking for something that is super impressive that can save you time. Getting started, we're looking at Motion Animate. Motion Animate is a beautiful motion graphic add-on from the folks at CGPs. So for those who've been thinking about doing some very high level stylized motion graphic style stuff, then you should consider taking a look at this. The beautiful thing about it is you can also play with the assets that comes with it, which are a huge number of them. And at the same time, you can also take advantage of the geometry node to make some very impressive and crazy stuff. So for those who've been thinking about making motion text, or maybe you like to do some more graph stuff with your scene, and you're thinking about animating these things by hand, you can take advantage of these and save up that time. Moving forward, there is also the city gen. The city gen add-on is an add-on that actually helps you generate cities really quick. One of the cool things that is available right now is they're doing a 10% off for the first 300 people that would use the coupon code first buyer 300. And this is going to be expiring sometime on the 28th of February. So if you like to generate cities and you want to do this really quick, then you should consider taking a look at what the folks at city gen has to offer and take advantage of that. ProLens is an add-on that actually allow you to achieve that professional grade looking kind of photography by playing with the amount of bouquet that you can get. And at the same time, you can also play with adding both vignettes and a couple of other camera tricks. And if you're into cameras, photography, or you're into rendering products and you like playing with HDRIs, then you should consider looking at this one as it makes your life even easier. And while we talk about things that will make your life easier, Sequoia 2.0 is right here. So. Sequoia is an add-on made available by the folks at 3D Mansion. And the beautiful thing about the 2.0 version is they've updated a lot of assets that this add-on actually comes with. So one of the things with Sequoia is it's an add-on that actually allows you create foliages and also trees and vegetations really, really quick as it takes advantage of the very simple things that you can use to build up your scene without eating too much of your memory. At this point, there is now over 130 different natural elements that you can play with. Some of the nice things that you can get with it includes the size control, which you can use to animate the vegetation. There's also the amount control, which are also fully animatable, the random control, and so much more. And for those who like to take a look at all of this, including the thumb preview, the color control, the light parts, and also some nice things that is now available with the new version, then links to that is going to be in the description. It also makes sense to talk about another foliage tool, which is known as the foliage paint tool. Foliage paint tool made available by Razy Clutch is a very nice, easy to use tool that you might want to consider looking at. Now, Razy Clutch has made a couple of nice things and one of the cool things with his add-ons is they're mostly very relatable and pretty much easy to work with. So without a manual, you can literally jump in and start creating stuff with it. And this simple foliage tool will just simply allow you create, duplicate, replicate, and also paint foliages across any model of choice. Now with that said, let's take a look at some things that would save you time. And what we're looking at right now is Select By. Select By made available by Online Render, very awesome creator. And this add-on would actually allow you things by various operations. So if you've been thinking about how you can make a selection, store that selection, apply that selection to something, select negative locations, objects with similar polygons, or maybe you're just looking for an add-on that can help you disable or lock transforms really quickly, then the select by is a very, very nice one. This was just recently released and uh, you can see where it leaves once you install the add-on. And while we look at things made available by online render, recently he also published the Haggis tool. So the beautiful thing about the Haggis tool is just a tool which is geared towards optimizing your workflow and reducing your repetitive tasks. So the ultimate goal about this tool, just like with the select by and also the pro lens and a couple of other ones that we're going to look at is to help you save time and work even faster. And you can also go ahead and take a look at the Haggis tool as this tool will definitely help you reduce how much time you get to do the same task over and over again. And with this said, let's talk about one more thing that is pretty impressive for those who like to save time. And this is called the Suzy real-time task. Idea for this add-on is sort of programmable like, and at the same time, it's just an add-on to help you do things faster. So in this sense, if you would like to create a task and let that task run over time, you can simply add the task that you want. If you like to write some scripts, you can write scripts if you want, and you can simply save all of this and also reload them for various projects. 
And some of the things includes creating repetitive animations. So instead of keyframing animations one after the other, you can just simply write the script or you can use a couple of tasks that are available right here and get them up to speed. And one awesome add-on for those who love sculpting is Rune. Rune made available by Mift is a beautiful add-on that would help you manage your sculpting brushes and also help you store the things. So for those who like to get that fast and simple run for every single time they would like to sculpt, this is a perfect one that you can use and this is just super impressive. It also makes sense to note that Myth has made a couple of other add-ons previously that deals with the decal on shells, the black mesh and also the B-sphere which sort of replicates what you get with Z-spheres coming from ZBrush. So for those who like to take a look at some of the sculpting tools, or probably you want to work with some sculpting tools in Blender and you're considering getting a manager or you're thinking about getting something that can help you sculpt faster, then you should consider checking out the scripts and add-ons made available by Myth. Other tools that you can also consider checking out that you probably missed is the True Terrain. This add-on now comes with a couple of assets and also some pretty cool operations that can make you create terrains and also landscape pretty quickly. So this asset includes 100 plus rocks, 8 plus species, of grasses, 60 plus assets for trees, and also several level of details that you might want to explore. So if you're thinking about creating that landscape that might include water bodies and all that stuff, then you should consider looking at True Terrain as the folks at True VFX have been creating pretty impressive add-on for a very long time. Chip Walters has also created the Simple Sci-Fi Pro that we mentioned a couple of weeks back. And this is a geometry displacement generator. So Chip Walters has made this beautiful pack and it comes with a new depth shader that you can actually take advantage of. It's one thing to note that this price is also going to go up as he has actually stated that, that after the next update, the price is going to go up. So for those who like to get this now, you can simply go over to the page and check it out for yourself. The Simple Sci-Fi Pro is a quick and nice to use add-on and there is also a free version for those who would like to consider testing this out before making a purchase. So if you'd like to get the free version, you can also go over to the Gumroad, which we've mentioned before, and you can go ahead and download this and start working with it. Another add-on that I would suggest that you should consider working with is one from the folks at Zane Graphics. So this is the Grabit add-on and it is just an add-on that was developed to help animators easily attach objects to other objects or characters and this would help for dropping and picking up stuff and also using some beautiful constraint attributes that exist in Blender to make your life easy. So some of the features that you can get with this includes parenting stuff, dropping stuff, grabbing stuff, the bone detection, markers and so on and so forth. And that's about it. For those who like to get a look at all of this or you want to check them out, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can check it. And some honorable mentions include the physics dropout which we've looked at. So in case you like to drop stuff, you want to have physics operate on all of these and you'd like to simply you know, have these things working for you, you can consider checking this one out. There is also the scatter add-on. So this is also another honorable mention, which is pretty impressive. Actually, the new version of scatter add-on was released sometime last month, and it is quite impressive the amount of work that the folks at BD3D have actually added to this. It also makes sense to know that they've collaborated with a couple of creators to make their biomes also compatible with the scatter add-on. So in case you want to take a look at what scatter add-on can do and some of the amazing features that now comes with the scatter five, links to this is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. And that's about it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Links to all of this is going to be in the description. So do well to check them out. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.